Hey guys, welcome to Tabletop Warbands! In this video we are playing Warhammer 40k in combat patrol format, which pits the Astra Militarum against the Tyranids. I'm Simone and I will be playing the Astra. Hi, I'm Andrea and I will be playing the Tyranids. Before we start, if you are subscribed to the channel, welcome back! If you are not subscribed yet and want to help us, join our growing community now by clicking on the subscribe button. And don't forget to activate the bell so you don't miss the next battle reports! Thank you guys! Today's mission is Sweeping Raid. The two armies will have to deploy within these two areas. There are four objectives and they are arranged in this way. As secondary objective, the Astra has chosen Methodical Destruction, while the Tyranids have Alpha Xenoform. At the start of each command phase, the player whose turn it is rolls a dice and with 4 plus he gains an additional command point. Let's move on to the description of the armies. The Tyranid army is growing really fast and this is thanks to all those who are trying in vain to stop the fleet's advance. Who knows if they will ever understand that blocking the path of a hungry Tyranid is a bad idea. The leader of the army is a winged Tyranid Prime, also called the Terror of Vardengast. He is armed with Prime Talons and has the announcement Psychostatic Pay. The Prime gains the lone operative ability and 4 plus invulnerable save. In addition, every melee attack against him has a minus 1 to the hit roll. Then we have a Psychophage, armed with Psychoplastic Torrent and Talons and Bitentacle Mo. He's perfect for eliminating the infantry. The core of this army is a Termagant unit of 20 models, split into 2 units of 10 models each, thanks to the ability Patrol Squad. They are all armed with Flash Boiler. Then we have the Bath Guns, 5 bioartilleries who can slow the movements of the enemies with each shot. The last unit is the Von Ryan Sleepers. 3 models armed with Gilbert's Talons, ready to jump on the enemies and wipe them out. The Tyranid Plague is infesting the Imperial territories, devouring every city in their path. This situation can no longer be tolerated. Karsk and his men are on the march to face the enemy army head-on and try to stop part of the horde before it reaches the next city. Karsk is the general of the army. He's armed with plasma pistol and power weapon. He's accompanied by a comma squad that follows him everywhere. As troops, the army is made up of two infantry squads. The first team is made up of 10 models. As special weapons, they have a flamer and a meltagun. The second unit is also made up of 10 models, and as special weapons they have a plasma gun and a grenade launcher. As a support vehicle there is an armored sentinel, equipped with plasma cannon and anti-killer missile. Finally we have the field ordnance battery. The unit consists of two pieces, a Maleus rocket launcher and a Bombas field gun. With the hangar blocking vision of almost the entire battlefield, I could deploy my units aggressively. The Thermaguns on the left side, together with the Bardguns, will take care of the Objective 3, while the Tyranid Prime and the Psychophage on the right will fight the Astra to gain control of Objective 2. The Leapers, thanks to their ability Infiltrators, can deploy outside the deployment zone at more than 9 inches from the enemy units. To avoid losing them in the first turn, I place them behind the wall of the hangar. The most important unit to deploy for me is the Artillery, and I chose to position them on the left, where they could have the best line of sight on the battlefield. The two infantry squads are in the center, forming the battle line. The sentinel is deployed directly behind, while the command squad, along with Karsk, are hidden behind his smaller hangar. Rolling for initiative, grey dice for Astra and red dice for Tyranids. Three is fine, I'd like to go second. Six, I'm okay with going first. At the start of the battle round, I choose an enemy unit for my methodical destruction secondary objective. If I manage to eliminate that unit at the end of the battle round, I gain 4 victory points. I choose the Leapers. I roll the dice to see if I manage to gain the additional common point at 4 plus. Nope. The first to move are the Thermagun. They advance, and with that 4 they manage to reach the objective 3 and stay in cover from Simone's units. The other unit of Thermaguns move 6 inches forward since they have nothing to do at the moment, and since I have secured the objective 4, the Bardguns can also move forward to keep an eye on both the objectives. The Reapers, with 10 inches of movement, manage to get really close to the enemy artilleries. My artillery unit spots the Leapers and opens fire on them doing Overwatch. The first to fire is the Bombas field gun. D6 shots. Only three. Six to it. Ah, <laughs> not even one. Not a good start. Maleus rocket launcher. D6 plus six shots. Five plus six. A total of 11 shots. Six to hit again. <laughs> 11 dice and only one 6. Amazing. With strength 6 and toughness 5, it wounds a 3 plus. At least it wounded. 4 plus to save? Not even close. Finally, the last guns. Short range, so 4 shots at 6. Obviously, they also fail. 
Oh, the one wound in the entire Overwatch. Two wounds left to this guy. Now, let's resume the movement. The Tyranny Prime flies behind the hangar, while the Psychophage moves forward to guard the objective too. No one can shoot, so let's go straight to the charge phase. The Leaper has charged the artilleries and needs 7 to reach them. 7, that's perfect! Now, the only thing left to do is eliminate the artilleries. In the combat phase, the Leapers pile in to better fight the enemies and then make 18 attacks at 3 plus. 13 hits! With strength 5 and toughness 7, they need 5 plus to wound. 6 wounded, that's not too bad, good job guys! Minus 1 penetration, so I need 5 plus to save. 3 wounds saved and 3 wounds suffered. The artillery has 6 wounds each, so 3 wounds left on the Maleus rocket launcher. The soldiers attack the Leapers, 6 attacks at 4 plus. Only 2, 5 plus to wound. Obviously, no one. Help! In the common phase, I gain an additional common point thanks to the Karsk enhancement. Then I roll a dice at 4 plus to gain one more common point thanks to the mission. Yep, another common point for me. Karsk gives the order Take Aim, which improves the ballistic skill of the unit to which he gave the order, but thanks to his enhancement, all Astra units on the battlefield receive the order, instead of just one. Luckily, my artillery survived the Leaper's attack, but now it is best that they fall back from the fight to allow the rest of the army to fire on the Leapers. The Gunther's threats advance and roll a 2. It's not much, but I can place them far enough ahead. The Command Squad, together with Karsk, moves forward leaving behind the objective which is now under my control. The Sentinel makes space among the soldiers and moves to the front line, inside of the Psychophage. I need to get the Leapers out of the way, the Diehards fire all their weapons at the Tyranids, the Drumfed outgun fires along with the last guns, plus 1 for the order but minus 1 for the Leaper stealth rule, so 16 shots at 4 plus. 8 hit, strength 3 and toughness 5 need to roll a 5 plus. 4 wounds, saving with 4 plus, unlucky, that's a Leaper dead. Plasma gun, 2 shots at 4 plus, only 1, 3 plus to wound. Oh, missed. Grenade launcher, and we crack grenade. One shot at 4 plus. Okay, hit. At strength 9, I need a 3 plus to wound. Ah, uh, these two failed. On to the next ones. But first, this guy has to leave. Sorry, mate. The command squad also tries to eliminate the leapers. The first to shoot is Karsk with his plasma pistol. One shot at 4 plus. 6! Excellent shot! 3 plus to wound. <laughs> Never mind. A bolt pistol from one of the guards along with the last guns from the others. 7 shots at 4 plus. Only 3, not many. Toughness 5 is quite high, so they wound at 5 plus. A wound. Saving again with 4 plus. Nope, 2 wounds left to this guy. The Sentinel divides the fire of its weapons, first firing the supercharged plasma cannon at the Leapers. The 3 shots. 1 shot. The shooting phase is not going very well. 4 plus to hit. Yes, now with strength 8, it must roll 3 plus. Nice! This will be hard. Invulnerable save at 6? That doesn't look like a 6 to me. Being a supercharged shot, I have to take the hazardous test. If I roll a 1, the vehicle suffers 3 wounds. No problem, the Sentinel is fine. The Sentinel turns its attention towards the Psychophage, firing the Hunter Killer missile at him, which can only be used once during the battle. I spend one common point for the stratagem Hyper Reactive on the Psychophage. It gives a minus one to the hit roll to every unit targeting him. Minus one for Hyper Reactive, but plus one for the order, so one shot at four plus. Hit, strength 14 and toughness 9. Three plus to wound. And wounded, at least I didn't waste this shot. Six to save. Nope. That shot inflicts D6 wounds. Three wounds to the large insect. Ignoring wounds with 5 plus thanks to feel no pain. Not even one. The Psychophage is down to 7 wounds. The first turn is over and I already have a huge advantage over Simone. I'm in control of two objectives and my Psychophage is guarding the third. My Leapers manage to stop the artilleries from firing and survive Simone's shooting phase. This means that they can block them one more time in the next turn. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to eliminate the Leapers this round, so no victory points from the secondary objective. The charge on the first turn immediately put me in difficulty and prevented me from firing the artillery this turn, but the next turn should be easier, let's see what I can do. 
At the start of the turn, I gain 10 victory points for the control of objective 3 and 4. Then I roll a dice to see if I can take the additional common point at 4+. Plus. Close, but not close enough. In this battle round 2, I choose the Leapers as the target of my secondary objective, hoping to be able to complete it this time. Then, in Andrea's common phase, I use two common points for Artillery Strike, a stratagem that halves the movement of the enemy units, halves their rolls to advance, gives a minus one penalty to hit rolls, and above all, the enemy units can't make charges this turn. Really useful! Then, at the end of the common phase, the last leaper has to take a battle shock test. He needs 8 plus to succeed. Well, that's perfect! 8! Since I'm gonna have the movement of my units, I need to advance with my Dermagants in order to do anything. And of course, I roll A2. Luckily enough, 5 inches movement is what I needed to have the enemy unit inside. Now, the other unit of Dermagants. They also roll A2 for the advance, so they decide to move just a little bit towards the objective 3. The Psycho Page on the other part of the hangar instead does a normal movement to be able to shoot. The Psycho Page starts the shooting phase, targeting the Sentinel with his Psychoclastic Torrent. D6 attacks that hit automatically. 1. Higher toughness, so wound him with 5 plus. Never mind. The Thermagans can shoot thanks to the rule Assault, so they aim the infantry squad behind the tentacle and make 10 attacks at 5 plus because of the minus 1 of Simone stratagem. Only to hit. Nice. Higher strength, so wound him with 3 plus. At least they both wound. 5 plus to save them. Nope. The first to death soldiers of the game. This turn 2, I get an additional command point for the cask enhancement. Then I roll at 4 plus to get the mission 1. Yes, I'm rich! Karsk again gives the order take aim to all Astra units. In the movement phase, the first to move are the Gunther's Rats, who take over behind the enormous Tyranny Tentacle. The Diars move forward, moving closer to the hangar opening to have more enemy targets in line of fire. And the Psychophage shoots Overwatch on the infantry. D6 shots that hit automatically. 6, that's perfect! With strength 6 and toughness 3, he wounds with 2. 5 wounds hit! With penetration minus 1, I have to save 5 soldiers at 6. Not even 1? <laughs> what a massacre! This unit was just held with a single sub of fire. Ouch! The command squad begins a competition to see who can kill the leapers first. Karsk takes precedence and fires his plasma pistol at them. One shot at 4 plus. <laughs> nope, you missed your chance, Karsk. Bolt pistol plus last guns. Seven shots at 4 plus. Wow, okay, six hits. Five plus two wound. Two wounds. Saving with 4 plus. Oh, come on. Can you save some wounds, please? One wound left to deliver. The Diards also participate in the competition against the Leapers. Drumfed autogun with the last guns, 8 shots at 4 plus. 5 hit, 5 plus to wound. Only 2 again? 3 plus to save this time since he's in cover. Finally, both saved. Plasma gun, 2 shots at 4 plus. Failed miserably. Grenade launcher with crack grenade, 1 shot at 4 plus. <sighs> How sad. I need to take out the Leaper now, and the Sentinel fires the Plasma Cannon on the last remaining Tyranid in the unit. D3 shots. Only one? Please! 4 plus to hit! Okay, so far so good. Now I need 3 plus to wound. Yes! Save him with 6? Nope. And the last Leaper is also eliminated from the battlefield. The Gunther's Rats arrived late for the competition that just ended, so they open fire on the Thermagans next to the objective. Last pistol plus last guns, 11 shots at 3 plus for the order. Rerolling the dice in the balance. 8, not bad. Same strength and toughness, so 4 plus to wound. 7, great. 5 plus to save. 4 wound save, that's great. My favorite weapon in the unit, the flamer. D6 shots. 5, it was what I hoped for. The shots automatically hit and wound at 3 plus. Hmm, only 2. Saving again with 5 plus. Nope, 2 more dead. And finally, the Meltagon. One shot at 3 plus. Nope, missed. 5 dead Thermagon. That could have been worse. Artillery fires at different targets. Let's start with the Bombas field gun firing at the barb guns. I use a common point for bring it down, which allows me to reroll failed dice to hit against the chosen unit. In this case, the barb guns. D6 shots. 3. 
Not having the target in sight, I have to shoot with the indirect fire rule, with a minus one to hit. But plus one for the order, and another plus one for the heavy rule. So this arm is a plus one to hit. Three shots at four plus. I reroll the fade dice for the stratagem. All three hit. Three plus to wound. I use a common point to reroll a dice. Two wounds. Okay. Four plus to save thanks to the cover. That's two wounds each, so I really need to save it. Rerolling with a common point? Yes, but save! And now the Maleus rocket launcher firing at the Thermagants next to the objective. D6 plus 6 shots plus 1 for the blast rule. 10 total shots, 4 plus 2 hit. 5 hits on the Thermagants including 2 sixes, which thanks to sustained hits make 2 additional hits, so 7 in total. Strength 6 and toughness 3, 2 is enough to wound. 6 wounds. Ouch! Saving 6 wounds with 6. Only to save. That's enough to keep one Thermagant alive. The Gunther's Rats must reach Objective 3 at all costs, so they charge the Thermagants and need 7 to reach them. 10! What runners they are! One by one, the soldiers approach the Tyranids, ready to fight. Before fighting, the soldiers pile in to carry out as many attacks as possible. Having charged, the Astra goes first, 10 attacks at 4 plus. 4 attacks hit, 4 plus to wound. I reroll a dice with a common point. Only one. Save him with 5. Nope, the last Thermagant is also eliminated. Well, I couldn't do anything this turn. The stratagem that Simone used to block me was really annoying. Luckily, my Psychophage stopped the enemy infantry squad from reaching the objective 2, where I would have found myself behind in victory points. If in the next turn I manage to charge with both the Tyranny Prime and the Psychophage, I should be fine. Having finally eliminated the Leapers, I get 4 victory points for the secondary objective reaching 9. I wasted way too many shots trying to get the Leapers out of the way, and now the Tyranids are getting too close to my troops. I absolutely must be able to resist the Tyranids next turn and try to make my shooting phase work properly, or I won't have any troops left on the battlefield to do anything. In this turn, I gain 10 more victory points for the control of objectives 2 and 4. With the Leapers gone, I change the target of my secondary objective Methodical Destruction and choose the unit of Thermagans still on the battlefield. Rolling for the additional common point at 4+. plus. Here it is! The Thermagans move closer to the objective 3. The Gunther's Rats overwatch the Thermagans as soon as they start moving. Last guns plus last pistol, 11 shots at 6. Oh, only one. 4 plus the wound. Nope, let's forget about it. Flamer, the 6 shots. 6 shots! Amazing Flamer! Luckily it hits automatically, it only has to wound a 3 plus. 3 wounds. Saving with 5 plus. 1 save, it's okay. Last weapon, the Meltagun, 1 shot at 6. Missed. After removing the 2 unfortunately burnt Thermagant, the unit resumes the movement and gets closer to objective 3. Then the Psychophage gets closer to the other infantry squad, and the Tyranny Prime flies over the hangar and lands right beside the command squad and the Sentinel. At the end of the phase then, I spend a common point for this stratagem team in Brutes. It allows me to deploy a new unit of Thermagants composed of 2d6 models. Rolling the dice... 6! That's really nice! I place them at 9 inches from the enemy command squad. The Bargounds finally can shoot, and they aim the infantry squad holding objective 3. Thanks to the rule blast, they shoot 5d6 plus 5 shots. That's 18 shots total that hit a 3 plus thanks to the rule heavy. Oh wow, 6 shots out of 18, that's really impressive. Wounding with 3 plus, 4 wounds. 5 plus to save those poor unfortunates. Ouch, that's 3 dead soldiers. I don't have much hope for this unit. Now it's the Thermagant unit to return the favor on the infantry squad. 8 shots at 4 plus. 3 hit, wounding with 3 plus, only 1. 5 plus once again. Another death. I honestly thought it could be much worse. Ok, next unit. Thermagants on common squad, 6 shots at 4 plus. 4 hit, wounding again with 3 plus. 3 hit, 3 shots to save at 5 plus. 2 saved, ok. The last one must try to ignore the wound at 6 thanks to the medipack. Nope, the common squad has its first death soldier. There are 4 left now. Alright, the last one to shoot is the Psychophage. He also aims at the command squad. D6 shots. Only 2 that luckily hit automatically. Wounding with 2 plus. Only 1. 6 this time to save. 
as I mentioned. Six again to ignore the wound. Another common squad soldier leaves. The Thermagans try to charge the common squad and need a 10 to reach them. Rerolling with a common point. Nine! That's so unfortunate. Well, at least both the Prime and the Psychophage charge automatically. The Psychophage starts the combat phase, attacking the infantry squad and making d6 plus 1 attacks. 6! That's 7 attacks that hit at 2 plus thanks to the ability Feeding Frenzy. 5 hit! With strength 6, he wounds with 2 plus. Thanks to devastating wounds, that's 3 mortal wounds and the normal one. Only one can try to save himself at 6. Nope, he's dead too. Four soldiers lie on the ground, in pieces. The poor remaining man tries to fight the monster with an attack at 4 plus. Nope, he's too scared to do anything. After all, who wouldn't be? And now, the tyranny prime. Six attacks at 2 plus on the command squad. All hit. Strength 6, so wounding with 2 plus. That's 5 wounds. I have to divide the attacks to see if the medic dies. I start with 2 attacks at 6. None. Each attack is 2 wounds that I have to ignore at 6. First attack. Nope. Second attack? Obviously not. 2 dead, including the medic. The 3 remaining attacks go to Karsk, who saves at 6. Ah, no. Karsk is definitely dead. The command squad was devastated and not a single soldier was left alive. The Sentinel attacks the Tyranny Prime, making 2 attacks at 5 plus. Only one. 3 plus the wound. <laughs> Excellent, nice work. My infantry units are still on the battlefield but devastated, so I can't use the common point to bring them back as reinforcements. At this point I would say that the game ends here, with the victory of the Tyranids. Well, not eliminating both the infantry squads was a miracle. It stopped Simone from using the stratagem to bring them back at full strength. Also, the Leaper took two turns of fire and that allowed me to better place my units and take control of three objectives stopping Simone from gaining victory points. I was happy to be able to go second so I could get the Tyranids close before shooting, but the Leapers charge in the first turn and the fact that they survived for so long put me in huge trouble from the start. I would have liked to see the Tyranids troops decimated by my volleys of fire and instead those who were decimated were my soldiers. They really didn't end well. Before finishing, we would like to take a moment to thank our members who have decided to support us on Patreon. And if you guys want to support the channel and enjoy an additional and exclusive battle report per month, or see your models showcased in our videos, the Patreon link is in the description. We are waiting for you on Discord. And if you have come this far, write the words too close in the comments to let us know. You are the best. And if you are not yet subscribed, subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video, leave a like and write us in the comments. We are all curious to know what you think. That's it guys, see you next video!